Is Mommy Fearest still an okay episode? That is a very tough question, and after a lot of back and forth, I finally have an answer. And to figure out the answer, I asked myself one question. I will reveal the answer to that question, as well as what that question was, at the end of the video. But for now, if you enjoyed my Powerpuff Girls videos, please give this video a like and a subscribe. It would really help out. And without further ado, let's begin with Episode 1B, Mommy Fearest. The professor's new girlfriend moves into the Powerpuff Girls' home. Okay, so... I initially said that the cereal box gag was my favorite part of the episode. While that technically is true, I like the entirety of the scene of the Powerpuff Girls in the grocery store. And that as a whole is my favorite part. So the cereal box gag, when the, when the girl will say, I want these, and they'll have the word these on them. And the mom will have the word those. That is so funny. But so is the professor falling head over heels for Ima when he's going like this, um, 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 um. And when Bubbles tells Ima that the professor is single and then the other girls act like that's so taboo, that's really funny. And I love how they all were trying to set the date up for the professor. So yes, that's good stuff. And so was the mayor babysitting for the Powerpuff Girls. And so yeah, the first part of the episode is absolutely amazing. Definite 10 out of 10. That's A+. Plus. And the ending, which we'll get to momentarily, I both like and dislike. And I'll explain why shortly. But now let's talk about the thing I did not like about this episode. I find the professor to be quite annoying in this episode. Keep in mind, he created the Powerpuff Girls. He knows the Powerpuff Girls better than anyone except maybe Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup themselves. Because not only did he create them, he's their only parental figure. So he would know better than someone who he just met at the grocery store and they've only been dating for like a day. And then he just moves her in. It's like... I know it seduces power to seduce men, but, like, the professor is, I would, you would think he's really, like, much smarter than that. And it would take more than just maybe, like, one nice date and totally seduce him. But anyway, that's not my problem. My problem is how biased and annoying the professor acts. So, like, and that's in the grounding scene, where the Powerpuff Girls leave after they were forbidden to use their superpowers. All right, first of all, why would the professor agree with Ima that they shouldn't use their superpowers? He knows that's what they do. He knows they're safe because they have that protective armor and they have all these powers like laser vision, flying, etc. And he was like basically agrees that it's dangerous for them or whatever. And the fact that, like, the professor just believes the girls, sorry, believes Ima over the girls, so annoying. And her passing out is over dramatic and pretty stupid. But after that, the girls realize that Ima is really Sedusa in disguise, who grounded them just so she could steal the mayor's jewels. So they get into a fight. Finally, the professor gets it through his head that he was being used. So he has the girls called the cops. And then a new neighbor comes up saying basically how crazy Amba was. But the girls think that she's seduced her again. And so do I. So what do I think about the ending? I think it is kind of funny. But it's also really dumb. And I don't think it's quite worth the payoff. It's like, Sedusa was arrested a second ago. A few seconds ago. How could that be her? Even though it totally looks like it's her. And what if they're wrong? So, that ending is satisfying because it's funny. But it's not because it's incredibly stupid and lame. So, what do I think about this episode as a whole? I wanted to give this a good... Because initially it was, and it was one of my favorites as a kid. 
and Sedusa is one of my favorite villains. But, I gotta call this an okay episode. Because, I asked myself, while determining it, because it was really close. Like, I spent like three hours deliberating, but then I asked myself, can I relate to the biasness on a personal level? And if so, how did I feel? Like, I remember, like, this didn't happen to me, but, like, my friend got blamed for something that he didn't do. I believed him, but nobody else did, and he got in trouble. I'm not going to say what it is, because it was a long time ago, and I don't remember the details exactly, and that's not my business to be sharing here publicly on the internet. But I feel like we can all relate to it, and I'm sure stuff like that has happened to me in my personal life, and I'm sure it happened to you guys. If you're comfortable sharing, you can share in the comments. If not, that's fine too. But yeah, just like how like how annoying and frustrating it is in real life makes me when I see it here on TV, it bothers me enough that I'm not gonna call it a good. But it's a very high okay. What do you guys think about this episode? Let me know in the comments below. Have a great day. This is Nolan Smith signing off.